I'm very glad I could sell this one on Amazon. Very glad about that because it sells for $55. <laughs> so that's a good one. Um, now we have a flash and he sells for $57 and I'm restricted. <laughs> makes, makes no sense. So he will be an eBay sale. So we'll stick him right there. Oh my gosh. I can't even feel my fingers anymore. They're completely frozen. All right, guys. So this is turning out to be where the money is in these figures right here. All of these I could sell on Amazon. There's a lot of them, all different characters, Avengers, Spider-Man, just some crazy cool Star Wars, bunch of things. The ranks range anywhere from 15,000 I've seen as low to as high as 400,000, but the prices range where I'm going to profit between $4 on some of them to $70. So it's a huge range. We still have more in here. I'm going to scan a few of them. This is the only one I was restricted in for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe because he's Batman. It's got to be Batman. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, because look. Well, no, these ones I can sell on Amazon and they're Batman. I, maybe because he's the Flash. I don't know. But I think I have a couple Flash in here. So it really... Uh, maybe I don't have flash in here. Makes no sense. So I'm going to keep scanning the rest of these. And if I find like a really big winner, I'll let you guys know. Here we go. Here is a great seller. This Ultron from Avengers, $65. That is crazy. A bunch of these right here are between 10 and 30. This guy's 65. These are all going on Amazon as well. I'm just picking through them real quick. I had to put my car outside. It was way too cold. The wind was blowing in here. It's still freezing in here. Can't feel my hands, but it's better without the cold air. Uh, let's just keep scanning. Here is another great one, this Hulk. He sells for $60. Now, I'm thinking a lot of these look like they would get damaged in the warehouses of Amazon. Do I bubble wrap them or do I buy uh, specific sized boxes on Uline and package them up before I ship them out? I might do that for like the 50 to, you know, maybe even $40 and up range so they don't get damaged. Um, I think that's what I'm going to have to do sadly. So it is going to add probably at least a dollar extra in cost, which isn't that big of a deal. The biggest pain is the waiting game, waiting for the boxes to get shipped to my house. But I think that's my best bet just to make sure I avoid any returns. So these things don't get damaged. We're getting down to the bottom of the box. I have two more to scan, and this pile right here I scanned all in. These two bottom Spider-Men go for $50 apiece, and both of these go for about $20 to $25 apiece. But I found this guy right here. Uh, he is Hawkeye, and he's got a little bit of a uh, sticker there, so I'll just get that off of the Scotty Peeler and some Goo Gone. It'll look as good as new, and he's going for $80. Bucks. Holy cow, some of these things are worth some good money. Got to scan the last two. I'm hoping Black Panther is worth some, worth some money. So, scan them both. He's worth about $20, this Crossbones, and Black Panther's only worth $18. But, hey, it's still money. They're all worth good money. The lowest I'm going to make on one of these is $4 after all fees. The majority I'm going to make around $10 to $20, and a few of them <laughs> probably make $50 and up. So, super stoked about that. And there's a lot here. What, there's... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21, uh, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34 for Amazon, one for eBay, oh, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 for Amazon, so sweet. Awesome. I wish there was one more. Make it an even 40. Then I got to look up these things. Oh, let's do it. I came inside to the nice warmth of my home. I listed all of these last night and I know they wouldn't fit on my shelf. So I just stuck them here for now. I'm going to be getting more shelves set up so I could actually organize all this stuff. So this stuff will sit here. But a lot of these planes were going for, you know, 20, 30, $40. And now I have these. We got Tecmo Bowl, um, Double Dragon 2, NBA Jam. No idea if these are worth anything. Time to start doing some research. All right, so not a lot of money in these things. I did just look them all up. This one is missing the battery cover, so that one's going to go for less, obviously. But they go for about $15 each. That seems to be the going right. Anywhere between, I saw as low as like $12 to as high as $25. So I'm guessing around uh, $15 each is the main going rate. I didn't look up this bass fishing yet. I assume it's going for the same, but I will look it up. Um, they all otherwise have their battery covers... And they're in decent shape. I have no idea if they work, so I do still have to test them. 
but that's what I'm going to end up listing them for. I'm thinking maybe to do a, a lot of all four of them. So is that $30, $60? That'll save me on shipping, I think, because these would cost me about 3 to $4 to ship each. So that's 4 8 12 16 If I could sell them all together, I could ship them via priority mail, and it would only cost me about $7 to ship them all. So that's probably the better case. And I could still sell them for about $15 each. So 60, I think if I sold them for $59.99 free shipping, that might be the best bet. All right, say, same thing, just about $15, maybe $20, but closer to $15. And not, oh, he works. Look at that. He turns right on. Cool. Okay, these ones have no batteries in them, but I checked Amazon as well because I forgot to, and they don't really sell on Amazon at well. Horrible ranks. On eBay, even, they take a little while to sell. So I think lotting them up is my best bet. And we'll see how long it takes to sell. This one I'll sell separately because it has nothing to do with this lot right here. Hopefully we have more of these and I can build a bigger lot and even save more on shipping. <laughs> so uh, these ones I'm just going to leave right here and I'll test them a little bit later. I still want to finish clearing out that car before people come here to buy stuff locally. So I just pulled this thing out of the car and it might not look valuable. Maybe it's not. Uh, this is a... Kind of, it's a Gatorade cap holder for NFL teams. Gatorade had like these uh, caps with all the teams on them, and you put them all on here and you display them. Well, a complete set of all the caps plus this board sells for about $300. This board's in really, really, really rough shape. I mean, I don't even know if I could sell this board, to be honest. And I do not have the complete set of caps. I have a little more than half of them, which is nice. So I'm going to pull out all the caps. They're somewhere in the car. I have to find them. And I saw somebody selling the caps for 10 bucks a piece, and they sell very, very well at that price. Mine are not in perfect condition, so they're probably not going to sell for 10 bucks a piece. But if I could lot them up and get close to $5 a piece, I think I'd be pretty happy with that. Uh, they, you know, they have like little rust spots on them and stuff. So this, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. I tried looking this up to sell by itself. Couldn't find a single one. Only found one with all the caps and it was selling for about 300. So I'm not sure what to do with this yet. I might just include this in that box lot and I don't know if I get five bucks for it. I'll be happy. I guess I'm not sure. So I got to do a little more research on that. All right, let's see what else we have in the car. Got a whole bunch of stuff. We have some planes and we have a wwe chair and this race car thing we'll pull out the race car thing actually because that's big i have no idea what this thing's worth i want to get the bigger things out of here all right this is a art in new ring of terror this thing's sweet let's see what it's worth first before i open the whole thing up if it's only worth like 20 30 bucks then i won't even bother opening it and i'll just try and sell it locally so i found a couple similar ones listed for about a hundred to 150 dollars um none sold and the only one that has sold is just some parts and pieces for nine dollars and ninety cents i doubt this is really worth that much i'll try and sell it locally for a decent amount um it's really big really heavy so i'd rather try and sell it locally of course we'll set it in here i will open it up and make sure everything's in there because i have no idea but I think that's how we're going to go with that for now. I might do a little more research on it. I actually will do a little more research on it and make sure I'm not making a mistake. Um, I'm going to check. What, what is it? There's there's like a program that eBay gives you. I can't think right now. There's like a program that eBay gives you where you could go back and look at older sales. So I think I'll probably try and do that with that because maybe it's just not a super fast seller. But if it sells for over $100 and obviously I'll try and sell it. Let's keep going to the car. Let's see what else we could pull out of here. Uh, pull out this bag of fun. All right, I just came back inside and I was just talking about these planes here and one just sold on eBay. I'll show you guys it. Let's see if I could find it. And it was one of the better ones that I listed. It actually might've been the best one I listed. Here it is. <laughs> I was just reading the listing wrong. It was sitting right there. Uh, this one sold for $74.95, which is insane. That's awesome. And I actually sold a comic from the lot last night for $9.99. So sweet. I'm already making money on this lot. Super happy about that. Uh, this is a great sale to get it started. I think it weighs over a pound, so, uh, it's going to cost me a little bit to ship, but not too bad. Hopefully it's not going far. All right. So I was going through this bag and I actually started finding a bunch of the same, uh, things that go together in a set. These are all from 1995 and they're all Power Rangers and they all come with their vehicles. So 
These guys I'll actually light up. I'll probably throw these in with it. These are from 1993, but they're not in the best shape. Uh, they're just some extra Power Rangers. So I think I'll do all of this in a lot and list it for like $30 or so. Now it's worth it for me to sell. I was going to include it in this lot, which is just going in the sell local lot. This is like a uh, old Liberty Classics Ford Model A, but it's for a local place in Bridgeport, Connecticut. It's just a fuel truck. It's kind of cool. It rolls really nice, actually. Uh, this is a Tonka. This is a Tonka. And this is just some extra fuel liner. So the Tonkas are actually, uh, yeah, they're both metal. So that's nice. This will all get included in the sell local lot. This Tonka truck sells for about $10 free shipping. Uh, it's not a pound, but it's in really rough shape. This Tonka, um, not very many sales, this Jeep. And the ones that have sold, really not that much money, $8 plus shipping, things like that. So these will get included, these will get included. And then we have some more toys in here. We have what looks to be King Kong. I mean, yeah, it probably is King Kong, but I can't, I don't see any indicating factors of age or anything. So, all right, we'll figure out what to do with him also. I'm seeing cars and toys, and then I see a Turbo Graphics 16 game, which I've never found in the wild. Oh, actually, I have found in the wild, but I've never purchased because the ones I found were priced way too high. Blazing Lasers, and this thing is clean. I'm going to look this up. Blazing Lasers, Turbo Graphics 16. Most of the ones that sell, sell complete with the case and everything. This one is obviously by itself. Um, the cheapest one listed on eBay right now is $20, but it is in rough shape, like really, really rough shape. And then the next closest one is like 40. So I think I'll price in between there around 25 to 35 dollars and try and get a sale like that because mine is so clean. Now there's a little bit of wear down there, but I mean those pins are minty. So sweet. Not bad with that. So that will go over here to eBay. And then we have a few more little toys here. I don't think anything's worth anything. Just some little planes, 1992 LGM. I have a couple of those. And what are these army men from? Uh, no year on them. So I don't know. Maybe these guys are valuable. They're probably not. They actually have uh, some screws in them. So they might be valuable. They're like well built, but that's all right. I think all of this will go in its own thing. These swords, I think might go with them. I'm not sure. And this gun looks like it goes in one of those holsters. So I think I'll do all that in a lot. This car, ERTL, that's what all these planes are, ERTL. So this guy's probably not worth anything. It's in really, really bad shape. It's like chipped on the back and I don't know. I think I'm just going to include it in the lot. I'll include these guys too and I'm going to look up these. These are micro machines from 1992 and a lot of three sold for $15 surprisingly. I don't know if these guys are micro machines as well. They might be. They're really big compared to the planes. Uh, I'll try and look them up also, but I think I'm going to sell these two planes. They're so lightweight. They'll only cost me under $3 to ship, which is nice. I'm going to try and list them. There's none listed right now, so I'll list them for that $15 price range and see if I can get a sale there just because they're so light and easy to ship. And they're tiny. They're tiny, tiny. And then I'm going to look up these guys right now. Perfect example of why I look up everything why i scan and why i type in everything even if it's the smallest toy or a random item because i scanned one of these selling for 18 dollars scanned another one selling for 21 dollars. i'm like okay these go for about 20 bucks and i was about to put them all away and then I, I probably have like 10 more up front, so I'm going to look them all up, but you can't write them off as all being around the $20 mark. I scanned this one. This is a rare one. goes for over $100. They all look the same. This one's just slightly different, and it goes for over $100. So that's why I look every single thing up, right? Uh, whether it be a bunch of little action figures, just type them all in, try to look them all up, and it's kind of rain snowing right now. This sucks. Um... You can see we have a whole bunch more right here. We have a lot more toys. So I'm going to scan these three, see if they're all around the $20 range or if maybe there's another rare one. All right, almost the exact same thing happened to me, which is pretty funny. Uh, that one's going for 20. That one's going for 23. This one's going for about 80. So there's obviously some of these that are just rare and some that aren't, maybe low print runs. I'm not sure. Um, I was going to say maybe it's because the classic ones are worth money, but there's a classic one that's not. Uh, the legendaries all seem to be worth around 20. These two classics are worth a lot. That one's not. I think I have another. Uh, yeah, I have a blue one down here, and I 
think this might be the last one. I might have one more hidden in the car somewhere. So we'll look him up as well. And look at that. Now streaming on Netflix. See if he's worth anything. Sell him for 20. So we have a bunch of $20 ones, a couple high, high, high dollar ones. Will they actually sell for that? I'm not sure. The ranks weren't bad, but um, maybe they're just inflated at the moment and they really only sell for around that 20, 20, 30 dollar range maybe. I don't know. I'm still going to list them high. Hopefully they sell. These are all Amazon items. Here we go. Just pulled out another $20 toy. Some Star Wars guy. Uh, he's a flame trooper. First order flame trooper. Another 20 bucks. I'll take it. Adds up. What else do we have in here? Oh, it's cold. Um, a bunch of vintage cars. I think that's all that's in this bag. Let me just double check. Nope, there's some other things in here. Oh, just batteries. Okay. So batteries can get tossed. Just stick them back here for now. And then all these vintage cars. I actually have a whole bunch now. I don't think they're worth much because they're all in pretty rough shape. But all the other ones are back there. So I'm just going to stack them. I'll look them all up later, because that's a lot of work. <laughs> that's a heck of a lot of work. So let's see what else we have in here. Some more bubble wrap. Oh, there's all those Gatorade things. Okay, cool. So let's pop that in there. Here's all the Gatorade caps. So yeah, see, these aren't in the best of shape. They're, you know, all scratched up and chipped up. But there was a Dolphins one, which is cool. And they're selling, you know, clean, like very, very clean for $10 plus shipping each. So if I could get $5 plus shipping each or just lot them all up, I think I'll do pretty decently. We have some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. Let's scan this stuff in. All right, first one I scanned in is going for $55. Look at that. It's an ex-Amazon item. See, it has the return label right there. So it does sell on Amazon. Somebody obviously bought it on Amazon. And uh, I think the guy that I bought these from, uh, Jeremy, he told me that he bought some of this stuff on Amazon himself. Some of it was his collection. So I believe this might've been something he bought on Amazon himself. So it's actually very, very clean, very good condition. I'm surprised that Amazon shipped something this nice without a gang destroyed. Uh, $55, that is sweet. I will take that and put it on top of my Amazon pile. I just scanned in this Sentinel fighter jet plane to Amazon. It's selling for $60, but the rank is very high, almost 700,000 in toys. Same thing with this big one right here. Um, I think I'm going to try and sell them locally because shipping on these would be a pain. They're really large. Um, and after fees, you don't get so much. So if I could sell them for like 20 to $30 locally each, maybe, mm, maybe 75 for the pair or something like that. That's still a really good deal since that sells for what? $70, $60. And that one sells for over a hundred. So that might be worth it to try and just get a smaller amount for the pair locally. Here is a nice score. It is a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Deluxe Megazord. It's brand new still. Very good condition also. He's going for around $200, $250. So that's going to be a solid thing. Now, I'm a little nervous. I want to make sure it's actually new. It sounds like something's a little loose in there. I can't tell. Um, but it is taped up. It doesn't look like the tape has ever come off because uh, there's no wear to the box underneath. And on the bottom tape seal, it looks new. I'm gonna have to compare with other new listings and see how the tape looks on each box and make sure that this is legit first. <laughs> Hi, Soph. I love you. <laughs> all right, they just left. I gave them my box that was housing all this stuff. So I have to find another box for this. But I am $80 richer, I think. Maybe I'm more than $80 richer. Let's take a quick look, because I think I sold something else afterwards. I definitely did, but 50, 60, 70, 80, and then 90. Cool, so I'm already $90, 2,000 <laughs> minus 90. I'm at $1,910 I need to make. So that's cool. That gets rid of a lot of stuff that um, I just didn't have anything to do with. I couldn't sell it anywhere else. He was very nice. He took it. Um, I actually found something else out. I brought out this slot car set, this ring of terror slot car set for him. Uh, he was interested in it. And then we went to open it and I found out it's still sealed. The box is damaged, but it's still sealed. So I actually might try and throw this online. Uh, I, I asked him if he wanted to pay 50 bucks for it. 
He said, no, that's too much. I'm like, 40? No, too much. I was like, all right, then I'm going to put on Facebook Marketplace, yada, yada, yada. So I told him if it doesn't sell in a week or so, we can meet up again. If he's interested, you know, $20 and I'll take it. But I'm going to list it up on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, uh, you know, offer up, things like that. Uh, I think locally, I'll try and sell it for, I'll probably list it for $75. On eBay, I'll probably list it for $150 or best offer since it is new, which is nice. And there's not another one like this online. Not this exact one anyways. So that about does it with everything. We have a bunch of stuff to list up on Amazon now. Definitely $2,000 worth. I know that. Just depends on how much profit I'll actually end up making. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot here. And, you know, $2,000 is a lot of money. But we do have, you know, one to $200 multiple items like that. Like that's over 200. A couple of those are over 200. So we're at 246. And then we had the video games. Some of those were over 200. So we're at 8, 12, 8, 1200 about. So we still need to make that $800 minus the 90. So we're at $710. And that's where all of this stuff comes in, which is a good amount of money, obviously. So, oh, and we still have stuff down here I haven't looked up. And there's still a few things in the car. Yeah, we still have these. Some of these were rare, some not so rare. We had those Nike shoes that are in here. Not sure what those are going to go for. The Godzilla. We have some hats. And anything else? Oh, look at that. There's another one of these. Maybe this is a rare one. Let's see. We're going to look him up real quick. Nope, not rare. 20 bucks. But that's okay. I'll take it. Uh, we have a bag there with a Bumblebee Transformer in it. He might be worth a good amount of money. Oh, I totally forgot about this, guys. Let's get this out. Let's open this up. There's some launchers that go with some planes that I have to find and a bottle of wine. Interesting. All right. Let's go open this up. This Sega Game Gear case. Heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Filled with games. All right, right here on the counter is where we're going to do this. Let's open it up. This house is a mess because I've been putting stuff everywhere. I should try and get this all gone today at least. Boom. All right, we have the Game Gear. It's fully tested, works perfectly. The power cord charger, and I think this is a battery pack so you can take it on the go. That works as well. We have an extra battery cover for the blue Game Gear that I showed you guys earlier. And then we have the Game Gear itself. He said he paid $75 to have it capped, so it works perfectly, so that's cool. And then the games. I don't know if there's any amazing ones here. We got Poker, Double Dragon, Solitaire. Is that Mickey Mouse? I can't even see it. This one's really, really shadowy, foggy. There it is, Mickey's Ultimate Challenge. Another Blackjack. Sonic Triple Trouble. The WrestleMania Steel Cage. NBA Jam. Uh, Chuck Rock. Interesting. It has... Uh, yeah, I've never heard of that one. Mortal Kombat. World Cup Soccer. Shinobi 2. I'm sure there's a couple rare ones in here for sure. Surf Ninjas. Sonic 2. Oh, George Foreman's KO. Paperboy 2. The Lion King. Grand Prix RC. X-Men, I used to play this a lot when I was younger. Echo the Dolphin, hate that game. <laughs> it's so uh, Batman Forever, Shockin, Shakan. I remember this game on Genesis. Outrun Europa, and that's not all of them. I'm pretty sure there's more in here. Yes, there are, okay. We have Olympic, US Gold, the Olympic Games. Another Mortal Kombat, the Majors Pro Baseball. World Series Baseball, another Mortal Kombat, another NBA Jam, another Mortal Kombat, hopefully Mortal Kombat's worth like 10 bucks a piece, that'd be nice, uh, what is this, Sports Trivia, it's probably worth nothing, Sonic 2 and Sonic Tails, uh, what is this, WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge again, lots of doubles, some carrying strap. World Series Baseball again. Another Sonic 2 and Sonic Tails. And a little Energizer thing. Okay, that's all of it. So that is everything. I'm pretty sure there's nothing hidden in here. 
Oh, there's another pouch right here. Let's see if there's anything in it. Empty. Okay. So, not bad. Time for me to look all these up, see if there's any rare ones. All right, so I went through them all. I looked them all up on eBay. Amazon prices can vary, of course. These are pretty much worthless games, the Majors Pro Baseball and those Olympic games. I think one has ever sold of each on in the past six months on eBay, so not even worth it to sell. These guys right here might be worth it to sell. They're not worth a lot of money, anywhere between like $4 and $6, so around that $5 range. Some sports games, a bunch of sports games, the Lion King game, surprisingly, and the Sonic 2 games. They're not really worth much at all. Moving over here, we are at the at least $5 range, $5 to like $8 range. Uh, Echo the Dolphin, X-Men, WrestleMania, WrestleMania, NBA Jam, another NBA Jam, Chuck Rock, Chuck Han, Surf Ninjas, Batman, and Sonic Triple Trouble. There's one more in there. World Cup Soccer. Okay. Now we're getting up to the better stuff. This is around that... 10 to 15 dollar range rc cran prix paperboy 2 outrun europa mortal kombat mortal kombat mortal kombat mortal kombat lots of mortal kombats and then this guy is three games from the same series that i could lot together and get 15 bucks for moving over here this is at least 15 dollars closer to 20 dollars shinobi 2 and then over here we're looking at about 25 and up which is that Mickey's game and Double Dragon. These can both go for about $25. So, interesting. That's what I'm dealing with right now. I'm going to look up some of the higher-end ones on Amazon, possibly try and get an extra $5 or so there. And then all these lower titles, like Lion King, Sonic, some sports games, I think I'm going to bundle with the Game Gear, possibly, and sell it as a lot on eBay. Or I might just, since I know the Game Gear works perfectly, I might sell the Game Gear over on Amazon. I haven't decided yet. 